good people of earth the destroyer gets some nibiri i don't know what this is but keep your eyes to the sky when you are walking trade look there up who knows what you might see you see but be careful so that you may not fall in a ditch much love and respect to yourself for clicking big up man you are all love and respected look at this man is this some creature or this some sheep that is falling oh this is some crazy stuff that is going on around here oh my god this is unbelievable wow 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 wow, wow. good people of bad what is this wow i can't believe this oh this is unbelievable what do you think this is leave your comments there man tell us even where you're watching from and shout out to yourself big up huh this is some creepy stuff and it looks like the more is coming down it is uh, the more it is getting bigger you see is this a video of the sky or is it in the water what is this good people of us but i read this something that was recorded in the sky now you wonder what this might be you see it looks creepy here it looks like some metal and it is really leaving a lot of smoke behind home um, what is this now these are some weird stuff you see anyway much love to everybody and please watch it in the end you see it's good vibes all the way oh look at this stuff now from where you come from do you normally see strange stuff uh, in the sky at night or in the daytime what strange stuff have you seen in the sky you see give some comment there maybe even someone saw this in this area and we are here wondering what it is and that someone might help us you see give some comment this looks like a creature like a ship like uh, like something that is just drawn and you wonder now what this is you see this is creepy man ah hey good vibes people what might this be you see this one is now looks like some dragon or uh, wow this is creepy stuff where did it come from in the first place you see now wow 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 these are stuff that can make you one you see and it's coming more close to us because uh, you can now start seeing like roads down there oh now you see you can see but now i ask myself the person that was recording this or the creature or was this video recorded by satellite do those satellites have cameras i think i don't know good people of us let's help one another to know this you see we see crazy stuff falling from uh, the sky up there and there is every bit from the falling to coming down here is recorded and you wonder now who was recording this stuff you see anyway it's good vibes if you can understand this leave your comments that looks like some stuff that has left a lot of smoke behind wow what engine is that hey i wonder mm. It's alive, but I don't know what it is. I mean, the rest just look like rocks. Yeah. It does look like from the top of it, like it's breathing or something. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Well, I'm not going in in case it's like. Some giant sea moss monster or something. Again? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. I'm afraid of it. Why don't you go and put your hand in there and see if it bites? Uh-oh. I don't know. It didn't move. Or it's just a rock. Could be a rock. Could be a sea monster. Oh. It's a, a rock. giant turtle. It's a giant turtle. Do you think it's a giant turtle or do you think it's just a rock? It's a rock. Wow, it's a living rock. That's scary. What type of rock is that? see this oh, wait wait look at this person eyes what is going on here you see this is very abnormal oh my god 
Good people of Earth, are you seeing this? Are those the reptilians or what is that thing? Where are the men with the money that you speak of? Uh, you got rid of them, remember? You, you said it wasn't fair that men made more money, and so you insisted on an equal pay, and you asked for uh, jobs and school and money to be distributed um, towards you, and so the men who had money now make not as much as you. You know, just like you wanted. That's what you wanted, right? You might notice I use the same drawings every time because it's the same thing every time, that men used to make more, and then you wanted uh, equality, but men still have to pay, so now they have less money than you. And it's not because you're doing better, it's because you ask to be given for free. Here, let me show you. We don't need empowering quotes. We need promotions. There, you see that? It says the future is female promotions. Now, maybe you could check my math on this, but if the future is female promotions, then that would mean not male promotions. And promotions are where you get money. So then the future would be female money. Not like this, more like this, or even farther. So then the men with money would become the men without money because you have it. At not one point in my life have I ever met a man that made as much money as I did or more. You sound upset. We are also upset. As a matter of fact, in my 40s, they have turned into the most pathetic group at a level of High school, early 20, struggle love. Yes, that's exactly what happened to me. In school, girls got bonuses and I did not. And when I looked for work, girls got bonuses and I did not. And then in the dating world, girls got bonuses and I did not. So I ended up with not very much. I was, I'm was i about to be 40 and this was going to be me if it wasn't for YouTube. And it's not because I didn't do these things. It's because when I did them, they told me, sorry, get at the end of the line. And then I stayed at the end of the line forever. And so did all of us. Which makes you confused for some reason because you got what you wanted. And they think that established women with financial stability are going to date them. See, there's where you're wrong. I'm gonna let you guess what this represents. It's not our income. And that's what happens when you say that this isn't fair, and then you use this to make this happen, and then you say that you're too good for everyone. Too bad for you. Where are the men with money? You <laughs> them. Good people of art. Please spread love and honesty and good vibes. A man found land in the sky, in the clouds? you got to be kidding me. A guy goes to this guy using a fan and check this video out. This is what I'm seeing from, like, person size perspectives. Wow. I don't really want to be, like, right below it either, so it's about as high as I want to go. What do you think? Comment below what you think. Could this be real? I don't know at this point. I don't think so. What do you guys think? Comment below. Oh my god! Let's leave this on this, you see? What the fuck is that sound? You can hear that, right? Yeah, what is it? I've got no idea. We're up at Bonnie Down. Can't say anything, but I can certainly hear that. It's aliens. 
behind you. He's not playing. What the fuck is that? That is weird. Oh, look, there's birds flying up there. This is how you fly an airplane. You don't fly in circles. You fly straight to your destination. This is called Great Circle Route. It's when you draw a straight line within the greater latitude lines cutting it through. Here's an example flying from Quito in Peru to Nairobi in Kenya. Why do you think it goes on that way? My testimony in how I, a Gentile white male who grew up in a conservative evangelical community, um, how I uh, became awoken to who the true chosen people of God are, the true Hebrew Israelites really are. And to share the, the entire story, I, I will say that question. And he said, my son, they are my true chosen children. They are the true chosen people of me. And to back up that voice, he led me to Deuteronomy chapter 28, where in the first time in my life, those words bounced off and penetrated my heart, and I wept and I wept. When I finally, after all these years, got an understanding to why our so-called black brothers and sisters in this country and around the world are so mistreated, and especially in this country, are so oppressed. It's because they are the true chosen people of the Most High God. They are the true Hebrew Israelites that are in another Egypt of America under a 400-year curse due to the disobedience of their forefathers, and that the Jews that we have thought have been fooled by are not the true chosen people, but they are what Revelations talks about as the imposters, Jewish, like something, but not the real something. But our Hebrew Israelites of today are our so-called black brothers and sisters, and that answer finally came. I wasn't brainwashed, I wasn't coerced, I wasn't in a camp, but I was- Good vibes, man. All humans are good vibes. You see? Jen, 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 Hey, that's, uh, that's some new way of fishing, man. Watch carefully as the investigation team's log narrates the underwater monster battle witnessed by humans. Six months ago, Triangle Head and Big Mouth, two giant sea creatures, staged a thrilling showdown. The organization realized the valuable information in this battle and decided to send an investigation team to explore it in depth. As several reconnaissance submarines arrived at the designated sea area, their sonar equipment detected the still body of Big Mouth on the seabed at a depth of 1,500 meters. Although deep sea exploration was a challenge for the technical equipment, they quickly surveyed a significant clue on the seabed the broken branches torn off by the two monsters during the fight, indicating that the core area of the battle was within reach. The flagship turned on the lights and continued to search with sonar, finding the upper jaw of Big Mouth in the oppressive atmosphere, and the remnants of the fierce battle scene made people shudder. The upper jaw was torn by Triangle Head, almost in half. While locating the position of Big Mouth, 
the investigators discovered a surprising fact. The monster, which was thought to be dead, might still be alive, in a dying state or recovering. For safety reasons, the submarines withdrew to the surface. To better understand the ecological impact, the divers dived to observe. Sure enough, around the large animal carcass, there were countless lives, including a strange human-faced fish that had never been recorded before, which swam fearlessly to this area. In addition, they found a mysterious soft-bodied creature, and as the investigators stared at it, a new horror emerged. The tentacles below the creature suddenly stretched out and pulled the investigator into its mouth. These creatures were undoubtedly attracted by the corpse of Big Mouth, and the scavengers gathered here, feeding on this meat mountain of thousands of meters. As the submarine planned to retreat, they also brushed past another organization foundation, whose creature code 333 showed up. This creature was the largest known creature in the world, even surpassing the giant skeleton that once reached the clouds. And the awakening of 333 might herald an unknown huge change. Oh, did you know those creatures exist, good people of Earth? Before we were all born, we want to know why we're being told that they were built with hammers and chisels. Today, I think we take a step closer to finding out where this incredible knowledge of construction truly came from. Where we are all aware of the massive continent that was completely left out of our mainstream textbooks, the land of Mew. So let's go even deeper. When we go back to this article from the Courier Journal from 1925, nearly 100 years ago, where it reads according to the records from Colonel Churchward and the East Indian High Priest, the records state that some people were brought by flying machines to India from the land of Mew in the Pacific Ocean. The records say that Mew was the motherland of man. In Mew was the Garden of Eden where they had cities, where they learned to build palaces of marble. They acquired the skill to quarry gigantic blocks of stone and to transport them long distances and to carve them into human faces. Like we saw in episode 60 in Easter Island, where the records say that the people of Mew navigated the air and had ships where they sailed to far distant lands with rich cargo. And now that we know all of this, I want to show a few things. First of all, this is showing that the technology of flight has been here before. Where the Wright brothers story, creating the first plane in the 1800s, would be a massive lie. Where they have this information stored and giving it back to us slowly, as we have discussed. Secondly, they mention in the tablets that the land of Mew was in the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean has been named the Pacific Ocean for 13,000 years? Or was the land of Mew here much closer to our timeline? Or is there more land? Not the entire continent, obviously, but are there other lands, possibly bigger than Easter Island and possibly bigger than Hawaii, left over from that cataclysmic event that are still here today and simply hidden from our maps and our flight paths where our current day planes could simply just be flying around that area? where these hidden islands could be. Hidden knowledge, where our flight paths are just circling it. The Garden of Eden, the place where humans had cities, where they learned to build palaces of marble and learning all of the construction skills that we are all asking questions about worldwide today. We are all wondering who built these cathedrals. We all know at this point that the horse and wagon community did not hire Donkeys Incorporated in the 17 and 1800s to chisel away at some stone and marble and knock out the Cologne Cathedral. We know this. We know that they didn't hit the stone with a hammer, a little harder and with a little more precision than we do today. And their work just lasts forever and ours doesn't. It's not about effort. There is knowledge involved here and we are just getting started today. Welcome to episode 61 of my lunch break. I hope you're all having a great day. And if- Oh my God. Hmm. Leave your comments at this, man. <laughs> oh, see, those animals are good birds. Which animal is that? See this man right here? 
This is why they want to shut down TikTok. Listen closely to what he's about to explain. You're not going to want to miss this. Alpha GPC boosts brain health and function in several ways, but memory, learning, cognitive processing, and mental clarity. It even helps the production of human growth hormone. Athletes use it for peak performance and to help build lean muscle mass. So basically, Alpha GPC supercharges your memory and focus but it also helps with your physical performance by increasing strength and power. What's crazy is that most people don't know better. They're using stimulants to increase their focus, which causes long-term brain damage. I think at this point you realize that most doctors will not prescribe this to you because they can't. It's not a prescription medication that they can make a lot of money off of. And there's more cognitive boosters out there that will round out the effects of alpha GBC. So things like L-theanine and ginkgo biloba, when you pair those all together, you're not only going to get something that will increase energy focus, but also will help you sleep at night and reduce anxiety during the day. And that's why I included a link of the best cognitive supplements in one right on this page. <laughs>
This tonnage man had a lot of surprises. So he found stuff here, yeah. new stuff every day, artifacts from the past. And we are told this from a stone age time. And this stone age guy must have been very creative, you see? And he had a lot of surprises and wonders. Hmm. If there was that creative back then, you see, that means that we humans in this modern age can do incredible stuff, you see? With our creativity, what just needs is us to unite and stop all this chaos and madness going around, people fighting one another and they are just humans. And you all are up with them, you see? Imagine humans fighting another human that because they live in different land masses. And what device that is just some land there that is imaginary called border was drawn by someone from the past that you don't even know and then you despise your neighbor because they come from a different region does it really make sense good people of us you see people should unite love one another be forgiven to one another you see and that way love can conquer this world and they can get rid of all the bad vibes in the society you see however mental health people can be good mental and things insane things people do will stop Seven.
What's happening, man? Is that some uh, way of identifying um, genuine silver or man? See, look at these creatures that were found someplace. The artifacts. You see, they look crazy, man. They look insane. And you wonder where it made this stuff be from. Oh my god. Huh? Who created this stuff? What are they made of? Is this stone, marble, bones? Hmm. Oh, it's like it's made of marble or something like that. Hmm. How many people from the past could do this? Oh, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. Hmm. This is really surprising. If those guys just came up with this out of nowhere, living in a cave, oh, they must have been incredible. You see, they must have had uh, extremely big brains and creativity. How come so they never made clothes for themselves back then? If they could make this stuff. You see, I was told those guys used to put on some fur or something like that, wood from animals. And without that noise, they, all, they, they could make this, but not clothes. I wonder. Hmm. This is crazy. Some NASA rocket goes up in the sky. And this is what happened. Instead of going up, it's like it goes sideways. And they're landing in the Bermuda Triangle. Alleged. And that's how you can find it. Hmm. So those rocket pass, they go up and they come down. According to this video, you see this is for entertainment purposes, but uh, this entertainment is too good sometimes. I don't think you guys to leave your thoughts about this. Because if those stuff don't go up, then... Uh, they really need to explain to us what's going on, you see? Look at this. This is was supposed to be up there. How come it is now down here? Hmm. And from me, you see, right? Oh my god, this is crazy. These are those big stuff that they really launch. But this is a movie, you guys. Please see your thoughts about this. This is crazy. Some is even written some big company there, and I'm surprised. Oh. And some weird type of cave here, huh? Where is this place? Oh my god. Look at this stuff, all this stuff. With weird drawings. Caveman left some message for us here, you see? Good people of art. Thank you very much for watching up to this one. You see, it's uh, very great and... Uh, Wonderful when you watch together with me these videos up to this bit and you leave your comment there, hit the like button. That's always nice, man. Much love to everybody out there. You see, my heart goes out to all of you guys, you see. And because of that, I uh, had a list here. Let me continue. Big up up some guys. You see, it's good when someone does good. I appreciate them, you see. Hit the like button, super thanks if possible. And big up to these people here. They've done great, you see. At Varval 9277. Those people they are always leaving comments there, you see? And it's wonderful and great. At somebody there, they like got China Wenner, aka Jack, Lamasu, you see? That one is a good boy. And good boy person. Much love to themselves. At Harem Harems, aka Miss Jones. You are loved, man. Heart goes out to you people, you see? Always leave those comments. They are always motivated, you see? And to people like at Page Mom Power. At page mom power. You see that one is always there saying good stuff and it's just nice man. Much love to everybody. Even to at Nikki Bridgewater. At Molly Cody. Hey, that one man, much love to yourself. See, it's like I saw some comment there. They were saying um, they want me to marry them. I was really surprised. You see, and what I was saying is this. The most important thing. You can hear these words of love. My heart goes out to everybody. And I love all of you people, you see. Always spread love out there to those around you, to the community, to the universe, and God will bless you. You see, much love. The last person now before we close this stuff, we'll continue with the list tomorrow. And to user J14CL8R040, that one is a very long name. And big up to yourself, man. Bye bye, you love. Till next time, keep it tuned for some fire episode that we'll be dropping soon. Watch out.